What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here and in this video I want to talk about the best type of silver bullion to stack, period. So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video, I do sincerely appreciate it. As always, if you want to learn more about investing in the precious metals, or if you would just like to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I post future videos. Okay, so this video is all on the best type of silver bullion to stack, period. <laughs> I didn't have to add the period in there, but why not? It makes it exciting. So there are so many different types of silver bullion that you could stack. There's so many different sizes and whatnot. In fact, I've seen tons of videos on YouTube regarding this. And so I'm going to tackle the what's the best type of silver to stack in a little bit different way. I'm going to talk about the best size of silver bullion to stack. So this is uh, sort of another way to look at it. You could look at what is the best type of silver overall. And of course, there's lots of opinions. Many of them differ. There's so many different types of silver you could be stacking, such as junk silver, uh, three nines fine silver bullion. You could get uh, different types of art pieces. You could get coins, bars, etc. So I'm going to sort of combine that all into one and talk about the different sizes of silver bullion. And what I mean by different sizes are are. You could get like fractional, one ounce, uh, assorted sizes, five ounce, 10 ounce, kilo, 100, bar, 100 ounce bars or bigger, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to talk about it that way because I think once you get a good grasp on what's the best size of silver bullion to stack, you sort of figure out what your angle is going to be, then you'll have a much better time narrowing down within that size if you want to do coins or bars or rounds or what have you. So, okay, I do always have to say I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just another dude here on YouTube, and this is my opinion. And your opinion might differ from mine. That's okay. Definitely leave a comment down below. But let's jump into this. So, let's start with the biggest. What is the biggest type of silver bullion you could buy? Uh, well, I'll give you a hint. I don't have it in front of me, but the biggest that's commonly bought as far as uh, silver stacking or investing in silver goes is the grand 100 ounce bars. And those are massive. They're very heavy. Uh, I mean, they're pretty much about that big and they're very chunky, very beefy. I've never purchased one before. I do not have any intentions of buying one, uh, but let's start off with those. So 100 ounce silver bars, if you're wanting to spend a lot of money on silver, I mean, we're talking $10,000, $100,000, whatever, you might be tempted to buy these massive bars. But I would caution you, when you buy the very large bars, you will not get spot when you sell them. You'll actually get under the spot price of silver, which is never a good thing. You want to get at least spot or over spot if you can. So as far as retaining value, I mean, eh, they are kind of good because they do follow the spot price. Of course, they will go up when spot goes up, but when you sell them under spot, you better be buying them under spot or, I mean, even if you buy them at spot, you're still, like, let's say it's a dollar per ounce under spot for a hundred ounce bar. That's a hundred bucks less than if you could get spot for, if you had just bought like, for instance, uh, 10 ounce or maybe one ounce rounds or something like that. So I would caution you against the really big sizes. Uh, the next size is kilo. This actually is a favorite of a lot of people and people might disagree with me, but I don't like the kilo size. I don't stack them. I've actually never bought one personally. If you don't know, a kilo is right around 32 ounces of silver. It's actually just a hair over. Um, I prefer things that are exact in troy ounces. And that's something I should mention too. When I say ounces, I'm talking about troy ounces. I did get a comment in one of my other videos. They're like, are you talking about an ounce or a troy ounce? No, whenever we're talking about silver, it's always in troy ounces, even if you only say ounce. And in fact, a lot of stuff on the pieces will just say an ounce, like uh, this bar right here says one ounce fine silver. But of course, they're referring to uh, troy ounces because silver is a precious metal. Silver and gold, platinum, palladium, those are always dealt in troy ounces. So anyway, uh, when it comes to the kilo bars, because it's not exact, it's 32 and then some change, 
I'm not a fan of them. And it's similar to the 100 ounce bar where you're not going to get spot likely when you sell it. In fact, my local coin shop that I go to buys them well under spot. Uh, so uh, it's somewhere, I'll, I'll give you a hint, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 cents per ounce under spot. So, uh, you know, not terrible. It's a little bit better than the 100 ounce, but I'm still trying to get at least spot when I sell. Okay, so now let's move to the 10 ounce bars, which I actually have in front of me here. This is the biggest size that I would consider buying and consider stacking. So this is a 10 ounce Engelhard bar right here. Uh, very cool. They're, uh, I guess, considered vintage or definitely older. But uh, as far as stacking 10 ounce bars, I think they're great. I think they're awesome for silver stacking. When you sell them, you will get likely a round spot or maybe just a hair under spot. But for that reason, I think they are really good. I mean, they're easy to store. They're easy to uh purchase because right now at the spot price around $18 per ounce these are somewhere in the neighborhood of 180 or 190 bucks and that's not too much money to spend on one piece at a time if you're buying online you're going to get free shipping and all that good stuff so uh, I think 10 ounce bars are a great option they're not the best option in my opinion but those are very excellent okay now we get to five ounce now in fact all of these that I have here are five ounce I decided to just bring out a whole assortment these ones are all my America the Beautifuls and then I have a Libertad, um, that is my toned five ounce, uh, uh, what is that, the Aztec calendar. People love that. I always got to show that one off. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I toned that one myself. But anyway, uh, five ounce, in my opinion, is a good size for stacking. I do like the five ounce pieces. As you can see, I have quite a few of them. Uh, they're not as popular among stackers. I would say they're less popular than the 10 ounce um, and also less popular than the one ounce, but uh, it is a pretty good amount of silver to buy at once. They're easy to store and whatnot, um, and you can get them in coins, rounds. Uh, there's the cast pieces. You can get bars. In fact, if you wanted to, you could still get the five ounce at spot deal from SD Bullion. I have got a link down below in the description if you're interested in picking up this exact bar at spot, which is an awesome price. You can do that. It's sdbullion.com slash dragons. That's for people who've never bought from SD Bullion before, but I'd highly encourage you to do that because whenever you can buy silver at spot, that's a great deal. So anyway, that's the five ounce. Definitely uh, not my favorite, less favorite than the 10 ounce and uh, some of the other ones, but it is a great option for stacking. Okay, let's talk about poured silver. Now, poured silver is like these pieces here. It's essentially artwork, and I love poured silver. I pour my own silver, but as far as stacking, I do not recommend it as a uh, investment piece. These can be harder to sell. They usually have much higher premiums because a lot of good work goes into making these. This is a piece from MK Bars. Pretty cool dragon there. He's got the largest selection of poured silver bullion in the world, I believe. Uh, so Michael does a great job with his poured silver. Uh, this piece here from Losing Louie. Shout out to another YouTuber, Losing Louie. It's a, sort of an interesting size, 3.97 troy ounces. Um, so when you buy stuff like this, it's definitely harder to sell. Um, you'll likely have to sell it to someone who's also interested in poured silver. You have to sell all the pieces individually, which is why I don't recommend it for stacking. It's definitely harder to offload. And then this piece here is a pretty cool skull that I poured myself. Uh, because as I mentioned, I do pour my own silver. It's got my dragon on the back there, 4.3 ounces. So cool piece. Um, definitely fun to hold. Definitely a great conversation piece, but not great for stacking. I'd not recommend that for uh, physical bullion investment. Now we get on to the one ounce. And I'll just tell you right now, the one ounce is my favorite. This is my bread and butter. It's what I like. And the great thing about one ounce is you can get rounds, generic rounds, very cheap. You could also get coins if you like coins. I love coins. Uh, my favorite is the American Silver Eagle. I've got a ton of videos on these coins in particular. This is what I like to stack. This is my main stack. So I love those. There's also coins from other countries. If you live over in Europe, you can get the Britannias or you can also get the, uh, let's see, uh, Philharmonics. Those are a great option for your opinions. If you live over in Australia, you can get the kangaroos, etc. So there's tons of options for coins if you want to get coins that are backed by government or if you just want to get the generics, which I mentioned are very cheap. Uh, generic silver rounds you can get near spot 
and uh, they come in all different designs. But the main thing about generic silver rounds is that they're pretty much all one ounce, which is great because they're all uniform. And uh, they come in tubes of 20, similar to this one here. So the tubes of 20 are a very nice way to store them. And so uh, this is what the American Silver Eagle tubes of 20 look like. That's how I store my American Silver Eagles. But the best thing about one ounce is you can buy just one. You could sell just one. You could buy tubes of 20, which is a great way to break them up. Or you could buy a whole monster box of 500 if you want to be moving much more silver. You could buy several monster boxes at a time. So it's a great option for storing, for buying and selling, all that stuff. And then you have bars, of course, as well. A lot of people like the bars. They're not my favorite. I do have, a, I guess, a little bit of a selection of them. I'll show you this one here. It's the uh, Scottsdale Silver Bar. Uh, let's see, we also got a Geiger bar here. A lot of people like those. But anyway, you can get the one ounce bars. Also really good options. Very popular among stackers. I would say not as popular as the coins and rounds, but very popular for sure. So that's my all-time favorite. Now let's get to the fractional generic silver bullion the last one on the table that is absolutely my least favorite type for stacking investing etc i think it's just terrible i made a whole video on it i will put a card up in the corner if you want to watch that video and learn all about fractional generic silver and how much i dislike it uh, definitely check that out it is a great video i think it's a total scam uh, but anyway that's sort of how I rank all the different types of silver for stacking, what I think is the best size to stack. I think it's good to look at it in the uh, light of different sizes because once you decide, okay, I wanna stack 10 ounce bars or I wanna stack one ounce pieces or whatever, then you can delve into which type you'd like to stack. And so for me, one ounce coins are my favorite, one ounce American Silver Eagles are my favorite of all the one ounce. And that's where I've decided to take my stack. I think that's a great way to go if you live here in America because you will get a premium back when you sell. Uh, for me, I get about a $1 premium back on the Eagles, which that is excellent. You definitely want to make over spot when you're selling uh, as opposed to the bigger ones like the 100 ounce or kilo uh, where you'll get under spot i like to get that premium so anyway those were my thoughts again this is my opinion if you have any differing opinions definitely leave a comment down below i'd love to hear what your guys's thoughts are on the best type of silver to stack i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out.